Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your very first shell script um, on a Linux or Mac, Mac machine. Very similar process on a Windows, but on a uh, Linux or Mac you're going to want to bring up Terminal app. I'm already in it here, so I'm not going to click on that. Um, and uh, navigate to, I'm just, I created a little subfolder um, just so, because uh, I'm going to create a couple files here and I just want to know where they are. I always prefer to be organized in that fashion. So I created this folder called scripts. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a simple shell script and show you how you can execute it as well. And what this shell script is going to do is take in some input. It'll ask you for your name and it will add that name to a file um, that where it could be stored. All right. And so um, let's go ahead and to create this um, shell file, shell file files are .sh. And so we're going to use the built-in editor that is on uh, Linux-based machines called Nano. We'll say Nano and we'll say scripty.sh. That's going to be the name of our shell script. And we'll just press enter. And now we are inside uh, this text editor, this very rudimentary text editor that um, we get to use in, inside the terminal window. And there's little uh, directions for various commands you can give it. But we're just going to start typing in here. And every um, shell script should start with what's called the shebang line. That's going to be uh, the number sign exclamation. And then it's going to say bin for bash because that's the um, bash is the actual name of the um, shell interface we're going to use there are other ones um, zsh i think it's a popular one on mac but this one is um, more commonly used across uh, different platforms and so it's a good one to know uh, the difference could be there could be slightly different commands for accomplishing certain tasks so anyway um, i always like to the first line to be a clear line that just clears the screen um, and then we're going to display that echo is how you display things to the screen and we're going to put it in quotes we're going to say welcome welcome to my show script and then close quote um, and what I like to show you to do is how to uh, take input and so you can input by saying read and then, uh, so we're going to collect name. So you can say read name, and it will it will, it will be a little um, prompt for the user to input something, and they can press enter, and it will save to this variable name. But I like to actually give them a more of a prompt. And how I'm going to do that is if you put minus p, that allows you to have a little text before you your input variable. So I'm going to say, please enter a name. And we'll have close quote. And then the variable we want to save, which is name. Um, and then let's go ahead and save that. They will then enter something, which will get saved to a, um, we want to save that variable, whatever they enter, and to uh, register to tell um, the shell script that you want to access that variable name, you put the number sign and then name, uh, I'm sorry, the dollar sign, and then uh, the name of the variable. And so this is all inside of a quote. And so that's going to allow us to, and I could put a greater than sign and then have file.txt. It will create this file and save that name to it. However, if we wanted to do this multiple times and, and not write over top of the file, but append the file, we have two, ah, I'm sorry, two greater than signs, like back to back, just like that. So this will save that name, append it to this file. Okay, um, so we'll go to the end here, press enter. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna clear the screen again, just to be neat and don't have to do that. And I'll say echo, um, I'm gonna say, I'll just welcome whoever the name is. Thank you for adding your name to the list. Something like that. Um, if you wanted to have a line break in here, which uh, you would use the backward slash N, but 
Um, to get that to work, the backward slash N, you actually need to start off the line with a minus E. That allows you to use certain um, features. And so I'm going to just put backward slash N. That'll give us a line break um, right there at the end of the line. Uh, and then we'll just say, uh, let's go ahead and, and we'll print the contents of the file to the screen. Um, to print the contents of a file, you put cat and then the name of the file, which is ours is txt. That will print all the contents of the file. Um, and then uh, that's it. So now uh, let's, let's see if we can just run this. And so to get out of this and save this information, see down here it says um, exit. And so you hold down on a Mac the control key and then uh, go ahead and uh, press X. And it says save. I'm going to say yes. Um, and yes, that's the name of the file. So I'm going to go ahead and just press enter. And so now in here I do have that file and it looks like my the contents that I want it to be there are there so that's great so now let's go ahead and and run that and to run it you're going to type in sh and then the name of the file which was scripty dot sh and press enter um, you see it cleared off the screen which was nice uh, using that clear function it said welcome to my shell script and enter a name I'll say Jake press enter um, and it says uh, Welcome, Jake. Thank you for adding your name to the list. And then uh, it printed the contents and then exited the um, screen there. And so um, we see we have that file and, and there it is there. And so if we went ahead and ran that again, say Bob, enter, and now you see the contents are such. And so I thought that was, that's pretty good. Um, so very basic, but I hope this um is interesting to you and you can see the um potential for writing various scripts that you can run through um terminal uh in a future video i'll show you how you can actually uh execute this file um either on reboot or on you know on on boot or through a python um script all right thanks let me know if you have any questions